In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a piecewise function in LaTeX. So we'll start by entering the dollar sign and then f of x like this. Okay, so the way I like to do my piecewise functions is I do it like this, slash begin, cases. And then here in your first line, you write the first part of your function. So let's just say it's x squared. And then we want some conditions, so maybe like x less than zero. So I want to enter the word if, so because it's a word, I'm going to hit backslash text and then space if space. And then we said x less than zero. And then you do this, one, two, and that gives you another line. Um, you'll notice these spaces uh, here. What this does is it actually creates white space because in LaTeX, if you do this, it just ignores the white space. But when you put white space inside the text uh, command, it actually creates white space for you. It's really, really nice. Down here, let's put a trig function. How about the sine function? The same thing, space. The space here that I just entered, that's just for my own personal like aesthetics, I guess. It makes the code look better. Text, if, and let's just do x. Greater than or equal to is GEQ, like that. And then you end your cases, like this, and then the dollar sign. Uh, if you wanted um, a third case, you could do it. Um, you, know, you, could use, you would add another one here. And then you would just do this. Okay, you would add something else like that. But I won't. I'll just stop it there. And let's take a look. Make sure everything is okay. So go to current file, build and view. And there it is. It worked. So f of x, it's x squared if x is less than 0. Sine x if x is greater than or equal to 0. I will um, copy and paste this code for you uh, right now. And I'll paste it in the description. So you can just copy and paste it. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.